It's interesting because I've heard you before saying that we're made of stardust. You know, all of our atoms are made of stardust and it's one of the most poetic things that I, I'm quoting you. And I agree. I subscribe a whole, wholeheartedly to it. And it, it's paradoxical because if we're made out of stardust, that would imply that these stardust in itself would have gone to other planets, other parts of the universe. And we've struggled finding life elsewhere. So... It, it is true. We have no, no evidence of life elsewhere. And many and it's been discouraging when we look around stars at other quote-unquote habitable planets. There's no evidence yet of even significant atmospheres, much less life. But it's hard. Uh, it, you know, the fact we haven't found it. Uh, absence of evidence is not evidence of absence, as Carl Sagan would have once said. But um, it's, it's not easy. First of all, the galaxy is a large place and it's hard to explore it. Um, and it's amazing. It's, it's remarkable that we've even been able to discover extra solar planets and even can begin to probe their atmosphere. So already the fact that we're able to do that is remarkable and it's just the beginning. But uh, you're absolutely right. The conditions, it, it, it looks like all that was necessary on Earth for, for life to form was, was water, sunlight, and organic materials, all of which exist in, in profusion, as far as we can tell, in interstellar medium. And, you know, we can find the basis of amino acids and comets and other things. There's lots of water and, and lots of sunlight. Um, so life on Earth began about as early as it could have, given the laws of physics. After the early bombardment of the Earth by large meteors and asteroids, and that were then eaten up by Jupiter or deflected to the outer solar system, uh, and so, it, so it it seems that if we're if we're typical, it looks like life evolves easily. And I I'm optimistic. In fact, there was just the um, Europa Clipper that was just launched the other day, hmm. and and it will get to Europa in 2030. It won't be definitive, but it's the first step. I think that the moons of Jupiter and some of the moons of Jupiter and Saturn, in which there are liquid oceans underneath significant ice. Uh, are great places to look for life because uh, those systems are, are, are first of all have appear to have all the conditions there's liquid water there even seems to be you know some more evidence of organics if you look at the sprays the the volcano the water volcanoes that are emitted uh and 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 so there's heat and there's a source of energy uh not sunlight so much but there's a source of internal energy due to the tidal motion of uh, the, the of, of the planets around the of the moons around their planet and, I, and I'm very optimistic about that, actually. I suspect we will find microbes in those oceans. And the reason it's more interesting than, say, looking for life on Mars is because Mars is not a closed system. We've discovered rocks on the, you know, you can go to Antarctica and discover Martian uh, meteorites. And as you were too young, but in 1996, people thought they discovered a meteorite from Mars which had evidence of life and uh, uh, extinct life. And there was a, the president had a press conference. It wasn't necessarily correct, but it was, it was evidence that at least, uh, you know, we now know extremophiles could survive small microbes and rocks for the trip from Mars to Earth. And that means that those planets can pollute each other. And if we discovered life on Mars, it wasn't, wouldn't be clear if it wasn't our cousins. Um, and, and in fact, it might, one might expect it to be that. Whereas in the, under the oceans or Europa or other pl or moons, those systems are closed. And if we discovered such life forms, it'd be a separate genesis. So, um, you know, I, I think uh, I was hearing Elon Musk talk about it. He got it wrong like he does many things. But, um, uh, you know, it's not that that uh, that that because of the of the ice covering that makes Europa a great place for life it's because of the ice covering that it's a great place to look for an independent genesis of life wow there's a ton there lawrence uh, that ton that we have to